Pierre Izesti has always stood out from the crowd. There are few EMTBs as light and stealthy. Even fewer, if any, that are two bikes in one. 150 millimeters then that can morph between electric assist or none assist at all. The new updated version is also one of the rare bikes that has quite as much customization on tap. But it's a changed bike to the one that was launched a few years ago. And we were very keen to get reconnected with the French Flyer. Now this bike is a quite different bike to the one we rode a few years ago and Lapierre have improved it by way of a bit of seasoning, a software update called, yeah, you guessed it, Black Pepper. This bike then is a more mature beast to the one previous. The original Zesty was a fun bike for sure. We got heavily involved in some southern French rock a few years ago. And even though the bike had 55 Nm, it did feel a little less powerful than bikes with similar power. But the Zesty was a light, fun bike to ride, and still an off-roader that could be mostly mountain biked and not mountain hiked. So from the sun and the spice and the smoothness of the south of France to something altogether a bit more dark, which is why Lapierre have invited, or should I say encouraged us, to come here to North Wales to see whether the new EZST has got a bit more grunt. So like I said, the Black Pepper is a software update to the Evasion system. With the new firmware, the support and characteristics of the motor are changed drastically for the better. Lafayette say then that the new updated Zesty is a lot quieter than the old one. It's got a wider cadence range and it's got more grunt to it, which is the reason that we've got two bikes in the mountains, exactly the spe same specification, but one is updated. I do find it crazy that both these bikes are identical. Same parts, same motor and battery hardware. Uh, the only difference, as I mentioned, being that update. Now, just to remind you on the three modes on this bike, we've got Breeze, which is pretty shy of using battery, River, which is the sort of trail mode, and also the Rocket. Now, remember, this bike has very, very little resistance above 25 kilometers uh, per hour, which means it's a great bike for getting you home should you run out of battery. So I've just done a run on the updated Black Pepper version of the bike, and I really think it's on terrain like that, steep, steppy going, where the increased grunt really does allow you to conquer those uh, difficult sections. But remember that this bike is also a mountain bike. So by removing the drive unit and battery, you're taking 3.3 .3 kilos out of the bike, but also at the same time, you're removing its capabilities. That bike now will struggle to get up terrain such as that. But it is still a lightweight mountain bike with the drive unit and battery removed because what you're left with on the bike is a bottom bracket unit weighing in about a kilo. I mean, it's like a small water bottle or a big bag of sweets. I mean, tasty sweets at that because this is located low and centrally on the bike, which means improved stability and grip. So, it's more powerful. So what? We've seen many EMTBs up their power in the past 12 months. Are brands then not in a race to the bottom of the gas tank, so to speak? It's really important to remember that the EZST in many ways pioneered the lightweight approach. For those of you who are new to the EZST, it's a lightweight EMTB which can morph into an MTB simply by dropping out the drive and battery and popping in this little blanking plate, thereby 
leaving only 1.3 kilos of uh, gearbox and sensor in that bottom bracket. And it really is a lightweight mountain bike. What it means is ultimately range anxiety now gets removed, partly at least from the equation. The evasion equation has got a lot going for it. But anyhow, the numbers, how does this all work? Now, before we go into the deep dive of the system, as the mountain bike industry love to call it, as you can see, I've now refitted a motor and battery. And I'm gonna tackle some of this truly amazing landscape. And I think it's on terrain such as this, lovely smooth single track where this bike really does shine. And I think it's very, very important that you understand the type of riding, the type of terrain, you're going to be riding in before you go fiddling with the settings on the Black Pepper update. we haven't spoken about range yet have we now um, obviously there is the added benefit of a bike being super lightweight and very little if any resistance past 25 kilometers an hour now I haven't actually been for a big ride on the bike yet but I spoke to Gareth Davis at Lapierre in the UK and he weighs 80 kilos and reckons he can get about two and a half thousand feet of climbing and 25 miles on one 250 watt hour battery. So that's maybe a punchy two hour trail center. Um, but I really think that this bike is about the bigger picture because let's face it, you can carry it over stiles and gates and fences and walls. Not that I'm saying you should be carrying bikes over walls. So that's why I'm gonna head up there and then maybe over there and then a bit of that action over there too. less power does mean lighter weight and of course that uh, smaller battery now I actually just want an excuse to take this out of the down to because it's just so easy and I think it should be on so many more bikes um, but I just want to slide this little battery out as I said 250 watt hours weighs in just over a kilo uh, and costs about 340 pounds here in the UK and uh, it's small enough to yeah, I guess you can fit it <laughs> it's not gonna work oh there's just so much crap in my pocket there i mean you get the idea it'll fit in a large pocket and definitely in your backpack so a couple of these is a great way of exploring these mountains with tough mountain riding in mind i set the bike up to get a tune that is fast to accelerate and give back maximum power to get me up the rocks yeah. The Motor Firmware 2.0 and the latest version of the Fazur Toolbox are available free to download. So all you need is your bike and your laptop to get you started on your personal setup. And that gives you access to everything you'd ever need to get a fine tune on this bike. So whether it be the acceleration or the input you put in as a rider, that's all there for you to custom set, no worries at all. You, the rider then, are now very much in charge of the motor and can fine tune it however you want to. There are three main ways which you can alter the output characteristics of that motor. Uh, and you simply plug it in and make it dance. Max power is, as it says, the max power and torque the motor can deliver. So that full on is going to give you 55 Newton meters. Support factor, now this means how much of your power the motor needs to give you back full power. And ramp up, how quickly the motor reacts and accelerates. 
There are also three pre-configured settings for the Black Pepper. These are Eco, Moderate and Performance. And the bike comes in Moderate mode as stock. But you can obviously change that to Eco or Performance mode or alternatively go to the Advanced Settings menu where you can really get into the nitty gritty. Do you know what? I think this bike is very much about perspectives and it is something you need to think very carefully about. It's either a mountain bike, a lightweight 150mm travel with aggressive geometry, but there is no way it can do the things that it can do with a drive unit and a battery fitted. Having said that, this bike itself cannot do the things that its sister or its brother, the GLP2, can do, but nevertheless, that low weight, centrally balanced drive unit, even with the motor off, is still central to the Lapierre philosophy. Lots to think about then folks. There is you, the rider, your rider weight, the type of riding you do, and the terrain that you're riding. But is the Lapierre e Zesty a stepping stone bike to such bikes as the GLP2? Or is it the complete package, two bikes in one? One thing I'm sure you will not disagree with is the fact that it is a classic mountain bike silhouette and very, very stealthy. Let us know your thoughts.